Hey friends, Adam Hammer here, Chief Investment Officer at Hammer Financial Group in beautiful Buffalo, New York and Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, giving you a little bit of a market recap, what happened last week on Wall Street, the week of August the 5th, and what we can look forward to this week. Well, if you were paying attention really uh, at any level, you probably heard that it was a tumultuous week on Wall Street last week. The Dow Jones Industrial Average opened up down a thousand points on Monday, August the 5th. The Nasdaq was down over 6% uh, during the session on Monday. Really tough day on Monday. Some things overseas in Japan that investors were not happy about. Uh, and also uh, investors not happy with the Federal Reserve, the potential of a recession, maybe keeping interest rates too high for too long. So that was Monday, Tuesday, we had a little bit of a rally, but it kind of fizzled out. Wednesday, we uh, sold off again. But Thursday, initial jo unemployment jobless claims came in. Uh, they came in a little bit less than expected, meaning there were fewer unemployment claims that were filed. And the market had a, a broad rally. Thursday was really strong. And then Friday, we also finished on the positive. So overall for the week, we did okay compared to what we were looking at Monday morning. If we go look at uh, the sectors of last week, how the market did, uh, you can see technology was the leader up well, about four and a half percent last week, which again, considering how we started on Monday was very encouraging. And you can see the rest of the sectors there. Certainly if we think that the, the bull market is going to continue or that the indexes are gonna move higher, we want to be able to see technology leading the way because technology stocks make up so much of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. And without technology leading the way, those indexes will probably suffer. You can see, though, that over the last month, whoops, over the last month, uh, it's the defensive sectors that have led the way. Right. I just showed you what happened last week. This is over the last month, real estate. Utilities and consumer staples led the way very, very defensive groups, whereas you can see technology, ouch, really struggling over the last month. Uh, so whether this is just a, a pullback, a correction, or something worse than that, uh, something we're going to have to keep an eye on, uh, because if technology is struggling, that means that the broad indexes will probably struggle as well. Another thing I'd wanted to show you is what's happening today. This is August the 12th, and we can see that the Dow Jones is down about almost 200 points. The NASDAQ is actually positive, uh, but the thing that I wanted to point out to you is the VIX. Uh, the VIX is known as the fear index, and the fear index is, well, quite simply fear, and you can see right here this little red dot uh, if, if the VIX is elevated above 20, that's usually coincides with a lot of volatility. So you have to be very careful uh, being an investor when you have the VIX at such elevated levels. Again, if we want the market to calm down and we want uh, the market to move higher, we want to see that VIX drop below 20. So that's just kind of a, a key point uh, to look at. Uh, and also uh, to just summarize, that's what, what happened last week, this upcoming week, the week of August the 12th, really Wednesday is kind of the big day. It is the uh, release of the CPI, the Consumer Price Index. If we get a good reading, the market may, may rally, may potentially move higher. Uh, if investors don't like what they see, well, that could be a little bit tough. There might, might be a sell-off if CPI comes in hotter than expected. But we won't know that until Wednesday morning. So that's what we look forward to this week. There's your market recap of last week. As of Monday, we're a little bit bifurcated. The Dow Jones is down, the NASDAQ is up, S&P is flat. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I will look forward to seeing you on another video. Take care. Have a great day.